Beyonce, shout out to you if you ever see this. I don't think you will, but it's a shout out. Hey, sure. no, no. Let's build the confidence on my channel. Right. Beyonce so, will be watching this for dinner. Okay, Beyonce no, no. is watching this. Is watching this. Is watching this. I am Curtis from Shark Week. Uh, I'm the front guy doing all the raps, writing cool lyrics. We have a lot of fun. This is my girl Steph. Coming at you live. <laughs> Taken. I am taken. I have a beautiful girlfriend for two years. She's awesome. Her name's Kendall. Wonderful. So, no dirty thoughts to make this. <laughs> Tattoos or piercings? Well, no. Tattoos. Tattoos for sure. Yeah, but I see the piercings. I have 14 piercings. You have 14 piercings, and I only see one. Um, I have two here. You what? Get out of here. I have a couple of them. Wait, what? Five on each ear, so ten on my ears and my belly button. Yeah. I have the the two ears. Yes. I have my nipple, and that's it. My back is covered in tattoos. Though. Seriously? My back is covered. You have to show me after for sure. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Describe your style in one word. In one word, uh, summer. Summer for sure would be the word to describe it. Okay. One style trend that you wish you hadn't followed. Bieber, Justin Bieber. Good it's one. Not a problem, yeah. I like that one. Polka dots and stripes. Uh, stripes. I love zebras, for sure. Fair enough. Okay. Your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now, uh, Snoop Lion. And I'd have to say it's uh, Astrays and Heartbreaks is the name of the song by Snoop Lion. It's a good song. Your favorite song of all time? Favorite song of all time? Ooh, now you're putting me on the spot. Yes. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, the song Grind by Donald Webster. I just, it hits home. I feel like we're on the grind right now, so it works out well. Okay, we're here. Okay, but it really One direction or just me? Uh, one direction, because it's like five guys in one instead of just one guy, right? Okay. Great, your favorite direction. Oh, I have to make these. Okay, it depends. Do you know their names? I know them. Okay, one guy. Tell me one of the guy's names. Names. One direction. Nile. Nile. Which one's Nile? Oh, oh, Nile. He's the cutest guy in the world. You guys need to like Nile from One Direction. He's a good kid. If you could be in any band of the other which one would it be and why? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Because uh, I read Scar Tissue yeah. and uh, Anthony Kiedis' story and just how the band came to be. Somehow it hit home and I've never forgotten that. Those guys are amazing. Just incredible. If you were a girl watching your show, which one of the band members would you have a crush on? Uh, the drummer. Because he's single, he's actually the tightest drummer you'll ever hear, believe it or not. There's a lot of big bands out there, and they haven't met this drummer yet, but he's amazing. And for sure, Luke. If there was one place in the world that you were to play other than you would see, that you would consider, I really fucking made it because I'm playing here, what's that place? Uh, crap, crap, crap. crap. Uh, Hawaii. Only because okay. Hawaii is like, when you go to Hawaii, it's like, it's a paradise. And if you play there, it's like you're playing in a paradise. And that's totally what our music's about, so. Fair enough. Who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush? As far crush? as you can remember, obviously. Oh my gosh, there could be so many. Jessica Alba was definitely one of them. But, you know what? I'll stick with it. Jessica Alba. She's beautiful. Chair, what celebrity would you want to sit on? Brad Pitt. He's yeah, extremely he's attractive. Like right, right away. Brad Pitt. That. That's my celebrity crush deep down, but right. I don't want to admit to that, right? Oh, you just I did. Oh, shoot. Obviously, you just finished this little bit of tour, but is there anything that your viewers can look forward to in the future? Absolutely. Uh, we actually have a new EP coming out with uh, six songs uh, produced by the guys from El Scarlet, Suave and Justin. And uh, we hope to have a master by Joel Cavello. Okay. Uh, he just did the Downwards Webster new CD. Um, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be crazy. It's coming out this summer. It's kind of we feel fire on the beach is what it's called. It's a 24 EP of summer. If you guys want to go camping, if you guys want to party and just enjoy yourselves, if you graduate college, this EP is definitely for you guys for sure. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And do you have a final message for your people? I love every 
everybody and anyone and everyone who supports Shark Week. We love you guys. You guys are the best and we just want the best for this band and we want to make sure we give you guys the best music that's ever been created. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do this. Go Shark Week! I feel like I'm aggressive and I'm scary. I didn't scare you. Boo! <laughs>